Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we start with today's harrowing news, obviously you may have noticed we have surpassed a thousand subscribers. We've finally reached that milestone and I am now proud to say that I am a YouTube partner. Just today I became monetized. It's taken three years for the channel to grow to this point and I'm really excited to see where it grows in the future. So last week I was talking about the successes of Marvel, bringing Daredevil back into the MCU by listening to the fans and seeing the outcry to resurrect this character. Today we are talking about something very much on the opposite side of the spectrum because we have DC and Warner Brothers doing the complete opposite. They have fully shelved the Batgirl movie coming to HBO Max sometime next year. Well now it's not coming at all. This 90 million dollar movie that was finished has been cancelled and used as a tax write-off because Warner Brothers are losing a lot of money on HBO Max and needed to get rid of something in order to gather their losses. And this, of all the movies, is the one they've chosen, this direct-to-video-esque Batgirl movie featuring a black woman as the lead. Not a great move, especially when we consider that a movie like The Flash, which features a paedophile as the star, is still going ahead and releasing in theatres. Not to mention, of course, that like I've said, this film is finished. It was $90 million, that was the budget, to finish it. The Flash has already wasted $200 million, which means that a further $200 million will be needed in order to market the film next year because so far the marketing is pretty abysmal. We're very excited to show you the movie uh, and we can't yet because we're still making it. We wanted to show you a teaser but we can't because we don't have enough material to make a teaser yet. We, we can't make a trail. Which means that next year they need to spend $200 million, but they wanted to save a bit of cash this year, so they've scrapped the movie. I find it, honestly, a complete joke. I have no idea what DC are doing at the minute, and it's genuinely got me really angry. It's not a case that the Batgirl movie would not have a wide appeal, because I've thought about this. Is it a case that the Batgirl movie would completely flop? And that, that's just not true. First of all, you've got Michael Keaton coming back as Batman. And if The Flash is not going to come out because hope, for, hope to God they cancel it, then putting him in Batgirl is going to raise the viewership of that movie so much more. Not just Michael Keaton, actually. We've also, I've just remembered, we've also got J.K. Simmons in this. We've got Brendan Fraser as the villain Firefly. This movie had quite a lot going for it. And I don't know about you, but that first image that they showed... I thought it looked really promising and I was really looking forward to actually seeing the movie. And it does strike me as a little bit weird that the first film DC decide to scrap is a one with a black woman as the lead. I find that really quite suspicious considering the films that they are allowing to come out. Fair enough, we have Aquaman 2 hasn't came out, we've got Black Adam, we've got Shazam 2. These are all films that could have been cancelled as well because they were also done However, obviously they've started their marketing campaigns. I'm sure there's other films that could have been cancelled. Why did they go with this one? It's such a bad public image. How is it that you are cancelling a film with a black woman as the lead, which could have been an inspiration to girls around the country? It could give them a hero to look up to. And yet, what DC are going to do is enable a paedophile to appear on our screens next year as a hero. Ezra Miller, for all the wacky shit they've done at the minute, they are horrible. You cannot put them front and centre. Would you trust your child buying an action figure of The Flash with Ezra Miller's face on it? It's absolutely stupid, the decision making that's going on at WB and Warner Brothers at the minute. It seems like every week we're hearing something worse. And I swear to God, if Blue Beetle gets cancelled as well, a movie that also features an ethnic minority as the lead, then I think you have a problem at DC. 
everyone goes on about, oh, you know, Hollywood's becoming woke. They're doing the complete opposite. They're giving people a voice as a gimmick. If it sells, they'll do it. They don't do it for moral reasons. If it doesn't make them money, they're going to cancel it straight away. They don't care about representation. They care about what is currently making money. I've seen already the reaction online is abysmal. People hate this decision. It doesn't even matter if the film would have been good. The fact that you didn't even let it come out after it's finished? It's a complete joke. It's a complete joke. First we've got Amber Heard and now we have Ezra Miller. And now you're getting rid of projects to enable them. You can't just passively sit by and let this happen and let this continue. Otherwise, it just will. Marvel listen to the fans and DC can't even listen to reason. It's so fucked. It's fucked. Anyway, guys, I'm going to be honest. I don't want to keep ranting on. I could get pretty shouty if I wanted to. The state of DC at the minute is horrific. It's horrific. Tell me what you think about this wonderful, cheery announcement in the comments section. I can't wait to see what kind of fallout this has. Because this is one of the worst moves I think they've ever made. And that's not even an exaggeration. This is the first video I'm making after hitting a thousand and I really wanted it to be a little bit more uplifting than this one. We've got a We Just Watched coming out soon and then I've got a few video essays on the way. So guys, look, the content's going to be coming and thank you so much for helping me reach that milestone. That's the positive here. Let's try not to dwell in the negative. We've got a good community going here. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you're thinking and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's hope we've got some better news to talk about then. See you guys.